Second try. <laughs> Alright, I'm not very good at videos, videoing me. But I wanted to get a point out. I'm in the midst of reading the book, Growing Up Social, by Gary Chapman and Arlene Pelican. I'm sorry if I mispronounced your last name. I'm not good with names. And it brought up the point that we're not letting our kids play outside very much. We're not letting them interact with other kids or other people that often. And I'm sitting there reading the book and I'm thinking about listening to my kids in the background fighting over toys and fighting over who's going to do what. And it's right. We're not giving our kids that chance to learn that social interaction. Learn how to play with other people. Learn how to work things out with other people. Like we used to. When I was growing up, we had no choice but to do it. If we wanted to play, we'd go to the neighborhood and we'd round up all the kids and we'd play together. And we had to work things out on our own because the parents were nowhere to be seen. Now, I literally feel like I have to watch my kids all the time and I have to be with them like a darn shadow because there's nowhere to send them safely near our house. When I take them to a local park in our local area that has a playground that kids should be at, there's nobody there. It's like a ghost town. I literally have to go an hour away just to get to a park that has kids playing in it. And of course the parents are right there with us being like a shadow. And when I try to interact with other parents, some of them do it, but most of them look at me like I'm on crack because I actually want to talk to them. I actually want to get to know them. There's no, hardly any socialization between people anymore. Even in the South, which is kind of odd because that's where I'm from. And my mom actually moved from Ohio. And one of the things that she loved most about the South was the fact that you could actually talk to other people and actually get to know them. And nobody looked at you like you were on crack. But that's no longer the case anymore. And I think, as parents, we need to work more diligently to get our kids socially interactive. Let them go outside and play with their siblings. Take away all technology. Take away everything for at least an hour to two hours a day. Let them work out their issues on their own. And I'll tell you, it makes a world of difference. See? Kids become kids. They climb trees. Where are you at? Jimmy. <laughs> See? They climb trees. They fight. They interact. They have a good time. They play. And they work things out on their own. And it's great social skills. And I can take my kids anywhere, and nine times out of ten, they're a leader everywhere they go because of it. Because they're used to interacting with other kids. They're used to working things out. They're used to being in charge. They're used to all of that. And that takes them so much further. And it puts them above the competition. Yes, they love video games. They love their Kindles. They love all of that. They love watching TV. But there's a limit. What are you doing with your kids? Are you letting them go outside and play? Are you letting them interact with other kids more? Are you making them get away from the TV? Are you turning it all off on them? Turn them all off for a week. See what happens. I challenge you.